Most of the pictures of beekeepers you've seen, they're wearing these big bee suits and these big veils. I don't do that for a couple reasons, all right? The main reason is, is that I get stung a lot less once I started stopped wearing a veil. When I wore a veil, when I was wearing a whole bunch of protective gear, I would just go in there and do what I needed to do and you know, I wasn't really paying attention to what the bees were telling me. And that means sometimes I'd make mistakes that made the bees cranky. And that's what makes them sting, right? But what happens now that I don't wear a veil anymore, when the bees are starting to get a little bit upset with me, they let me know before they sting, right? They start to fly near my face and say, hey, maybe you're not where we want you to be right now. And you know what you do when you find an animal that's acting scared or like coming towards you in a way you don't like? What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to walk away. And so because I pay better attention now, because I can tell when the bees are getting too close, I just walk away when the bees are feeling upset. And that's made both of our lives, all of our lives, a little bit easier. So we're gonna go down into the nest here. As you can see, there are lots of bees. And look, they're getting away from that smoke. They don't like it. They're gonna go look for food. This is crowd control. And what we do every week is we open up these hives to see whether they're healthy or not. And we do that. I have a tool in my hand. I'm going to show it to you. It's called a hive tool. And this hive tool has a hook, and that lets me pick up these frames of bees, right? And as you can see, there's some, there's some nectar in there. You see that liquid in the bottom of those frames? See the liquid? But we're going to go, and there's some pollen in there too, but we're going to go look for some babies, okay? I want to show you some babies because the babies are cute. Everybody loves babies. All right, so we're gonna look for some babies real quick. And we have some right here. Hello, babies. Hello, babies. So it's really important when you're taking a hive apart that you put it back in the same order. It'd be like somebody going into your house and rearranging your furniture at night. You'd wake up in the morning, you'd be like, where the heck am I? And you'd bump into everything. So here we have our first frame that has babies on it, right? So we have a whole bunch of stuff here. We have some honey on the sides. This is honey that's on the sides here, right? Oh, do you guys see the bee with pollen on her legs? Yeah. See how that's, that pollen is stuck to her legs? Yeah. yeah, it's because those legs are covered with very thick hairs. It's called a pollen basket. That's why they can get stuck in your hair. But as you can see, are they really flying around? Are they feeling upset? No, they're all busy eating because look, Right in the corner here, there's where some honey is. And I'm gonna, this is old honey. It's fine. <laughs> but I'm gonna pull some brand new honey at the end for you to try. But what we see here is a bee being born. And that's why I pulled this one out. So do you guys see, do you guys see how the bee, little baby bee is chewing her way through this wax there? That is a baby bee being born. See her chewing her way out? I'm gonna come over. Everybody's gonna come and see. So you see that little baby bee chewing her way out? That is a bee being born. See, Sonia? Okay, you see the baby bee chewing her way out? Oh yeah, look at that. There it is. There is a bee being born right there. Right there, underneath the thing. See right underneath my finger? See her chewing her way out? So bees are born fully grown. Hey, and guess what their first job is when they're born? They turn right around and they clean their room. I know, isn't that crazy? <laughs> Lesson. Don't, don't tell your parents. Now, I'm gonna see if I can find you some younger babies to see. So, do you see the difference? Do you see this wax here, how this wax is smooth and clear? That's honey. And do you see how this wax in the middle is kind of rough and brown? Those are babies, those are pupa under there. The larvae turn into cocoons and metamorphize, just like a butterfly, just like a beetle, right? And so the bees actually protect their pupa by building some nice porous wax on top of it. But I want to show you what some pupa look like. Hello, babies. 